We did uh, half a dozen tunes in Nashville, Tennessee. We did another half dozen or so in Chicago. We mixed it in Muscle Shoals, Alabama. We get it right. The answer to my wildest dreams. You make me happy. It's about the innocence of two people meeting each other and, you know, one plus one. And what I love about the song is that it's going to touch you and it's going to make you feel good whether you're 10 years old, 20, 30, 40, 50, 80, 90. it doesn't matter. It, it works for anybody. I usually write on an acoustic guitar or a piano and then depending on how it gets recorded is whether I play electric or not. Rolling. Sweet Dreams is probably one of the prettiest ballads I have ever written. It's very heartfelt. It's a story about, you know, a couple of people who experience the highs and lows of, of knowing each other and being in a relationship or not being in a relationship, but talking about how that person impacted your life in such a way that you will never, ever forget uh, that person or the memories. All people, you know, in our journeys, you know, we've had people touch our lives in a profound way, and, and the person in that song I love very much, and I think that came out. Oh, I've, you know what? <clears throat> I've evolved to this place where I feel like I can really do anything, and whatever the song needs. It, uh, the, the truth of the matter is, there's a couple of songs on that album. Uh, I was, I had tears going down my cheek when I sang them because uh, it's, what, it's what it needed. I think the spiritual side of living, or at least in my life, also gets into my music as well, and using freedom as an example. The second or third line, I, I say, sweet Jesus, I'm all alone. And the bridge talks about, give me strength, give me the strength I need, and, and, and that's, that's real honest. It's one heart crying out, saying, hey, I need, I need help. I don't have all the answers. Take it out on the highway, losing track of how many miles. Sweet Jesus, I'm all alone. Religion is for those people who are afraid of going to hell, and spirituality is for people that have already been there. And I've been there a few times. A while ago, I was working on this tune and I realized it was about my journey and some of the trials and tribulations that I've been through. Trying to get to freedom someday. It was kind of scary to do that because I decided to talk about some things in a direct way that I had never done before. Got burned by the Marlboro Man. Jack knocked me upside down. I talk about going through uh, getting beat up by the Marlboro Man, which was smoking cigarettes. And then I also talked about Jack knocked me upside down. And Jack represents alcohol. And I've had my fair share of, of uh, encounters with alcohol and the ism that follows that. For me, the real, the real scary point was the third verse was about my son Patrick, and uh, when I talked about the fact that I don't have a relationship with my only child and how painful that has been. Didn't take all the money, robbed me of the love of my son. Doesn't matter. There's 
nothing worse than having a child that you don't have a relationship with. Um, whenever you have something like that, you really, no matter what people tell you, you still feel all alone. You still feel like you're the only one dealing with this. I must have been told to play that opening about 15 times. And I'm going to tell you something, my thumb was just killing me. It was like, oh. I wrote about a couple of married people that didn't make it, you know? And there's just a gazillion people that get married, and they don't, you know, some of them don't make it. Walk together, wanted to say. So I remember having a, a, an intense discussion with my producer, Rick Jokovs, and Andy can't use the word marriage. And I was like, why not? Well, only country people do that. I don't give it, you know, I'm going to do it because that's what the song deals. But, but we were talking about spirituality and, and having not so much a happy ending, but maybe something cool in there. I like happy endings, that's kind of my thing, you know? And, uh, and, and if I have, if, in a way, if I can write it where there's an uplifting thing, and if it can inspire another human being, how cool is that? I'm a dreamer, man. There's two things about me you need to know. A, I'm a dreamer and I dream big. And B, I'm a romantic. And so you combine the two, anything 